This is Norway spruce, a field of Norway spruce, grown in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We see a lot of wildlife in our fields where we have Christmas trees at. We use Norway spruce as our Christmas tree of choice. And when we see deer, the reason like deer like to come through here is that in the middle of the winter, when all the corn and all the soybeans knocked out, that this gives them really good a place to hide, bed down, and be over the, the colder periods of the year. So this is, we see a lot of wildlife in it, not just deer, we also see turkeys, we see groundhogs, we see a mink every now and then, we see foxes through here. There's a lot of wildlife, and these guys do provide a lot for the wildlife in the area. So we're going to just trim this one tree, we do thousands of them. We haven't done many of them this year, but we're going to start this one here. It's got a couple really good things that we have to look at for taking care of spruce trees for long-term care. And the number one and most important problem that it has, it has two, three, maybe even four leaders to it. And we can't have that in Norway spruce. We need to have one leader. We need one trunk on the tree. If we have multiple trunks to the tree or multiple leaders, those trees are more susceptible to breaking and falling apart. So we have our handy dandy head shears. And we're just going to give a go up here real quick and give a trim to this tree to give it one liter. And that's kind of how I like to have it. We're going to cut that guy right there because we don't want it to get too much growth in one area. Now the reason I cut that is that if you did not cut that, all the growth would be at the top of the tree and none of the growth would be down at the bottom of the tree. So we want to cut that. To encourage the growth to come out at the bottom and that gives more habitat area for the wildlife to grow into but since we cut the top of it now we haven't run into a problem that if we don't trim the sides the sides will grow out and then you'll have a weird looking tree so we have to now go through and trim the rest of the tree to make the tree balanced and we just go through real lightly just tipping it the tips of them and that will encourage the growth to be back up towards the top of the tree. It seems kind of weird that we trim the top to make sure it doesn't grow as fast, but then we trim the, t the sides to make sure the top grows again. But that is a balancing act that we have to do as nurserymen or Christmas tree growers to make sure that we have a balanced, nice tree that's that is saleable for people to pick up as Christmas trees. But if we, if we wanted to, you could probably trim the top and you'd have like really bushy bottoms to it it may not have a real nice trunk to it, but you will have real nice bushy bottoms to it. So it all depends on what you really want. But this is how I instruct my men to go out in the field to trim trees. And we do see a lot of wildlife around these guys and it does really sh give a good shelter for the wildlife over the winter time. And if people are interested in these trees, they can buy them from us? Yes, we sell them as cut your own Christmas trees. Or if you want, we can dig them out. We do have a digging spade and you can dig them this right here at Highland Hill Farm. And what size does, do we have? Uh, it ranges, it varies. The biggest we really want to do is seven to eight. And it goes all the way down to seedlings that we have. Now, if a person's growing these for a wildlife habitat, can they uh, make money on their habitat by selling these trees? You probably could. You have to make sure you have good marketing skills you get a good tree going up, you put them in the right location with sun, a little bit of drainage to the soil, you should be able to, yes. Okay, and uh, thank you, Mike. And you're, you're located at? We're located at 5275 West Swamp Road in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. And Fountain if people want to, in Fountainville, <laughs> if people want to call you, what number should they call you at? My cell phone number is 267-446-2376. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. You're welcome. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.